What's going on guys? So today I am going to show you how to broach a keyway. If you've ever looked at pulleys and wondered how they get that notch cut in there for a woodruff key so that it will fit on or so it will fit or match up with the keyway on a motor or anything else that a pulley goes on, this is for you. I am going to show you how to cut that. So this is a broaching tool for a uh, keyway. This is for a square keyway or even a, a woodruff key that's kind of hollowed out. Some motor shafts have like a, a half moon shape on it. This one does not. This is just for a square keyway. But some kind of have a half moon shape down into it. This will work for, for that also, just on the pulley side. So first thing to do is to know the, you have to know what your keyway size is. So this one is an eighth. And I have a broaching uh, set here. So this does everything. Um, this one goes down to, you can tell I just got this. So this is a new set. And this one is 5 eighths, but it goes all the way down to half inch. And they make kits that are smaller. This one is half inch. So it goes from half inch all the way up to the largest size, which is bigger than I'll ever need. Inch and a half. So it goes all the way up to that. So we're going to select our proper, um, our proper die size. We've got a half inch hole. And I'm going to cut another um, keyway in this just so you guys can see. So we'll, we'll pick the half inch that fits in there. You find the appropriate shim. And on this particular kit, they're labeled. I don't know if you can't see that very well. That one says 1 8 B. Shim goes in here. And then we select our proper cutting tool. Now basically all you're going to do with this is it's going to push down in there and cut a keyway in this guy. It's pretty slick. So I'm going to show you how that goes. Now it's best if you use a press, kind of similar to what I've got there. So this is my press. We're going to put this guy in here like so. We're going to line it up with where we want to cut our key at. And then we will have to adjust the height of the press to make it work. So let me give you a better look here. All right, there you go. So that's a better view here. So I've got to lower my press down just a hair so that I can fit this in here. All right, so we've got the press down. Now your keyway, it gradually gets bigger, right? So this is the starting end, and it gradually gets wider as it goes down the keyway. That's how it cuts. So you gotta make sure that you start with that end first. Oh, cut. All right, so you start without the shim. Sorry, I forgot that, the other one I had already cut. So you go without the shim, and if you need to go deeper, that's what the shim's for. All right, so we're gonna start here. Safety glasses are important. Wear them. And you just start going down. It should cut really easy if it binds up or if it, uh, if it doesn't feel right, if it's too hard, then you need to stop. So like that, it just bound up a little bit there. I think we actually bottomed out the press. So we'll take it back up. I'll show you guys. So this is this is halfway through the process. So you can see we're cutting the key. The important thing on the back side is to make sure that it's sitting flush within your um, your other tool there. So this one's working good. So we're going to raise this up. There we go. Now, depending on the material that you're cutting, you don't have to have a press. Um, 
It's easier, I'll tell you that much, but I have done it where I just use a hammer and I pound the end of this through there. Um, that does work. I'm not gonna say that's the best way to do it, but it works. Okay, so you can see that we have now cut our first notch in there, and it's the smaller one, right? So that's the one I cut, or that was, that was in it before, and I need a smaller one in it, okay? So that is our first pass. So now we need our shim. So we're gonna line this back up. This is where our shim goes in. And then we cut again. There we go. So now we'll get a deeper cut. And we'll have to readjust our press and start again. All right, so now we bound up there, so now we're gonna stop. Raise our press back up, and finish it off. Let me take you back over to the bench here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is pretty slick. All right. So now we've broached our keyway. You can see the one that we just did is the top one there. This was the one that was already in it and the motor I'm using is smaller than what it came with. Pretty cool. So these tools, um, are expensive and I will tell you firsthand that uh, buying them I mean it depends on if you can find somebody like a local machine shop that can do this stuff for you but um, if you can't um, you're kind of at the mercy of you know buying the tools and if you don't have a press then it makes it kind of a pain so is what it is. I'm really happy that I got this. And this is this is the, uh, I'll show you guys the actual kit numbers. I like this kit a lot. It's really, it's got every piece in it that I need. It's easy to use. So this is the, I don't know if you can see that or not, the HSS Keyway Brooch Set Number 10 Standard Set. It's the 5100-0010. It's a really good kit um, and it works really good. So this metal that I'm doing this on is aluminum and the aluminum is really, really easy to, to broach. I, I could have done this with a hammer easily. Um, I just didn't want to. You can see, I don't know how well you can see that, but the, the keyway is super, super nice. It, it cuts a keyway in there really good. There you go, better light. That keyway, it, it cuts in there really nice. These teeth are really good. I really like the set. It comes in a comes in a really nice case. It's a wooden case that, you know, I wouldn't say it's really nice, but it's, you know what? It's nice enough. It'll last a while, so I'm happy with it. There you have it. And then this will this will go right onto my motor shaft here. 
and I see that I'll be able to put a, a square key. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to get it to line up. There you go. I'll be able to put a, a square key right in there to, to keep it from spinning. So, yeah, super happy with the tool. Works really good. No complaints. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, leave me a comment, thumbs up, like. Let me know what you think of the video. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good one.